Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders comparing House Republicans' health care bill to a terrorist attack. Take a listen. But what experts at the Harvard School of Public Health estimate is that if 23 million Americans were to be thrown off the insurance they currently have, which is what the House bill would do, up to, up to 28,000 Americans every single year could die. That is nine times more than the tragic losses we suffered on 9-11. Is that necessary to make that kind of comparison? Here with me to discuss right now, Fox News contributor DeRoy Murdoch. I mean, I know that they're into scare tactics and everything, but that seems a little unseemly, DeRoy. A little excessive, would you say? Yeah, yeah I think it's, it's absolutely appalling for Senator Sanders to compare uh, this piece of legislation, which, which is what, what it is, uh, with flying planes into buildings and roasting 2,000 American citizens. Absolutely horrifying and disgusting for him to say that sort of thing. I remember when uh, Obamacare was first being passed, Sarah Palin referred to an aspect of it, the Independent Payment Advisory Board. She called that a death panel. And the left freaked out and said, oh my God, I can call that a death panel? That's extreme, that's harsh rhetoric, isn't that disgusting and ugly? And here we are not just talking about a death panel, but uh, Bernie Sanders saying this is like September 11th. These are scare tactics. Oh, beyond scare tactics. I think this kind of rhetoric, when you refer to the GOP not as wrong or confused or mistaken, but saying that it's death, it's the party of death. And by uh, the way, September 11th, uh, not to interrupt you, but I just want to remind the viewer that this is exactly what Hillary Clinton did most recently, and I'm going to quote for you. Here was her tweet. She said, forget death panels. If Republicans pass this bill, they are the death party. And this was coming just on the heels of the congressman Correct. being shot there yep. while playing baseball. In other words, DeRoy, they are so out of their minds about this thing that they're willing to make these kinds of frankly disgusting kinds of comparisons. They're disgusting and inflammatory com uh, comparisons, and I think they inflame people. I mean, if, if the GOP really is the party of death, then maybe it's incumbent upon people to come over and, and, and kill the death party, if you put it in those terms. And there are a lot of people who are very hopped up, very excited, very much on the edge, and I think this is sort of thing that pushes some people over. And this is why I think you've seen the left engaging in the violence, the beatings, people with Make America Great, Amer Make America Great Again hats uh, getting hit in the face. Uh, all the, all so there's a violence there. Attacks. There's a, there's an under undercurrent of violence. You think that that somehow they're encouraging with I, this I, kind I of think rhetoric. This rhetoric encourages the kind of violence we've seen. Uh, attacks on people wearing uh, Trump kind of garb. Uh, you've seen uh, the violence that, ha that happened at uh, Berkeley when Milo went to go speak. Uh, various people have gone to college campuses to speak, and the anti-Trump people come in. And literally, there's one uh, professor at uh, when Charles Murray went to speak at uh, one campus. She ended up with a neck brace. She was injured so badly, she had to go to the hospital. Uh, this but somehow, it's all left, okay for them, right? They, oh, they see that the, well, the, those on the right is being violent. Yeah, they, they say people on the right are violent. Yet the, the social justice warriors are the ones engaging in this sort of thing. And by the way, you want to see death. I mean, Bernie Sanders likes to talk about Medicare for all. It really is more like VA. It's more like the VA system mm -hmm. for all. And this is, of course, the system where you had lots of veterans waiting to be seen by doctors and waiting, waiting, eventually dying before they actually could get any medical care. Dory Murdoch, thank you so much. Good to have you here. Good to see you. The mainstream media trashing Donald Trump.